पंद्रह सौ प्री लोडेड गानो वाला की पैड फोन धमाकेदार साउंड के साथ कारवा मोबाइल द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मिथोलॉजी इज फुल ऑफ स्टोरीज देर आर स्टोरीज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स देर आर स्टोरीज ऑफ इंस्टेंसेस देर आर स्टोरीज ऑफ ओकेजन्स देर आर स्टोरीज ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स देर आर स्टोरीज ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स एंड सो ऑन टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू सम ऑफ दीज इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड द एपिक महाभारत is all about heroes but then what gives heroes their heroism is often the evil characters today we will talk about one lesser known story of a well known evil character from mahabharat and that is shakuni shakuni was considered to be the villain of mahabharat he instigated duryodhan and constantly plotted against the pandavas but is this the whole truth Did he do all this out of devotion to his sister's clan or was there something else was he inherently evil as we know him and have seen in popular depiction clad in black robes wearing an evil look and an impish smile shakuni was the brother of gandhari the wife of the blind king dhritarashtra of hastinapur shakuni has also been referred to as the king of gandhar a region much smaller than hastinapur it is said that shakuni was angry and felt insulted when bhishma pitama brought the matrimonial proposal of the blind king dhritarashtra in those days refusing the proposal would have been suicidal for the region and they were left with no choice but to accept it to add fuel to the fire gandhari shakuni's sister embraced darkness for life shakuni felt vindictive and decided to avenge the insult to gandhar and his father king subala by ruining the entire kuru clan of bhishma pitama who was the proud guardian of the kingdom but this he could not do by waging a war against them as gandhar pradesh was too small in comparison to hastinapur he decided to live with them and eat into the system and destroy it from within just as a rat destroys cloth for the sake of destroying not because it wants to eat it shakuni became the rat in hastinapur and kept duryodhan under his tutelage to keep fanning his ambitions and stoking the fire of jealousy and ambition alive in him till the entire extended family was brought to a knot this is the version according to ved vyas or at least a popular explanation of shakuni's behavior there are some other versions to his evil According to a version which does not find space in Vyasa's version, Gandhari's stars foretold that she would be a widow as soon as she married. But if she married again, her husband would survive. So her father got her married to a goat and killed it soon after, which made her a widow in technical terms. Later when Dhritarashtra comes to know about this, he waged a battle against the kingdom of Gandhar and took King Subala along with his 100 sons as prisoners as prisoners all of them were given just a handful of rice to sustain the king realized that this way all of them would meet their end soon he then decided that all would sacrifice their portion for one of them to eat who should live on to avenge this insult meted out to them the son selected to carry on living was shakuni after his father and all the brothers had died one by one shakuni was released on the request of gandhari and he then came over to hastinapur and continued his task that his father and brothers had given him there is an interesting story on the selection of shakuni to take the task forward king subala of gandhar wanted an intelligent son to survive to avenge the insult so to test them he gave each one a bone and asked them to put a thread through it none could do it except shakuni who tied a thread to an ant who went through the bone to reach the other end to eat a grain of rice which was tied to the other end of the bone one by one all the brothers died and so did his father and it is said that the dice that shakuni carried with him was carved out of his father's thigh bones the dice constantly reminded him of the insult 
and his objective entrusted on him by his family. Shakuni, of course, was later killed by Sadev in the Battle of Kurukshetra. If you like these stories and you want to hear more of them, please share, like and subscribe to our channel, Sarigama Music. Thank you.